Rating the prizes in my treasure box, part one. All of my students love these scrunchies. They're so soft. I bought the 24 pack multiple times and every single time they were all gone within a week. These vampire teeth were a huge hit when I got them in October, but I'm gonna buy a bigger size next time because the child size was a little too small for my middle schooler's mouth. Everyone loves these pencils because they're so pretty, but they also write and erase really well. My students love stuffed animals, which I don't really get because I was never really into stuffed animals, but the cutest ones were these dinosaurs with really long necks. What's the name of those ones? Like brontosauruses or something? They were like a blue gray and their necks were so long and floppy. It was really funny, but they took all those ones, so. These pencils with the multiplication tables on them are also really popular. I always hear my students tell each other to make sure to get one and save it for the next test. Wait a second. Rating the prizes in my treasure box, part two. We have whiteboard desks, so I always make sure I have a lot of Expo markers in the prize box, and these are the absolute best kind. They have a magnetic strip on them so you can attach them to the desk and not have to worry about them falling off, and they have an eraser built into the cap. I call these pencil pets. They're erasers that you slide onto your pencil, so they're functional, but they're also so cute, and there's a ton of different types you can get. There's monkeys and seahorses, snakes, etc., etc. Okay, apparently pencil sharpeners suck because my students never take them, so my recommendation would be to not put them in your box. But my students are obsessed with pens. Like any type of pens, as soon as I put pens in the box, they're gone. I don't know why. Rating the prizes in my treasure box. Part 3. Smell edition. I thought these would be awesome because my students love pens, and this one has six different colors you can choose from, as well as six different smells. But the problem is, the pens only smell like pickles. And they make everything around them also smell like pickles. So you would open the treasure box, and it was like you would be hit in the face with a pickle. These had pros and cons. They look like mini pop bottles, and you could also twist off the cap, so they were really cute. The smell was also really strong, and they smelled awesome. I especially loved the cream soda one. The deal breaker is that the bottoms were really loose and would constantly come off and then the eraser would fall out. These are my absolute favorite. They fit on top of a pencil, they're sharpeners and erasers. And the vanilla and chocolate smell so good, it makes you want to eat them. Rating the prizes in my treasure box, part four. These disappeared like hotcakes. And as a math teacher, I was like, oh my gosh, they're so excited for geometry. But then I realized they just want to use them for weapons. These make writing notes interesting because you never know what color is going to come next. And the pencils are so pretty and shiny. My kids love brain teasers, especially the metal ones. But do not waste your money on these ones. I thought they'd be perfect for my prize box because they come wrapped in individual bags. But no one could get them back together. These brain teasers do get a thumbs up though. And they're super convenient because you can find them at the dollar store. Rating the prizes in my treasure box, bad ideas edition. Out of the blue, my students seemed really interested in tech decks, which I thought was cool and nostalgic since I remember them from my childhood. So I got a bunch for the prize box and my kids were super excited. But all the other teachers were mad at me because apparently they just played with them in class instead of focusing. Oops. Literally no one has ever taken a bookmark. I think my students are too young to want koozies. No one even wanted the really cute Lily Pulitzer ones. And I guess my students are too old for any kind of figurines or Legos, which is sad to me because I wish kids never outgrew Legos. New prize alert. I bought an assortment of iron-on patches. That way my students can customize their masks. Look how cute they are. And there's so many different types of patches, threaded, sequins, or even rhinestones.
restock my classroom prize cart with me. I put some more Pringles. I had already refilled the fruit snacks and the foam squishies before this video. Then I started making room for some art supplies. I noticed some of my students who do really pretty notes and are also really good artists. So I included a lot of gel pens and markers this time. Look how cute this donut clipboard is. Some cute post-it notes maybe for themselves or their grown-up. You know I can't forget some fidget toys. These color change balls have been a big hit. What other fidgets should I bring in, I wonder? These invisible ink pens are a new addition, so they'll be seeing them for the first time on Monday. That was a silly SpongeBob pen. I have sixth graders this year and they can't use calculators, so these multiplication pencils come in handy. So that's what the prize cart will look like next week. I hope my students like it. My prize cart's looking really bare, so let's restock it. I put another sketchbook in and refilled the stuffed animals. These little guys go so fast. My poppers are also going really quick, so I put a circle and three square shapes. These are actually the last of my Pringles box, so once they're gone, they are gone. Having Pringles was really good because it also fills their stomachs so they're not hungry and can concentrate better during class. The same goes for these delicious fruit snacks. Added some Mokis. Look at this adorable panda. Invisible ink pens are the best. I found a panda foam squishy too. Slow rising squishies are so fun. And look at this gigantic muffin. Of course, I added a bunch more of my favorite fidget toys. And now the prize cart has been restocked.